Hello everyone. One of the most important recipes for developing an aircraft is ARP. The ARP provides various guidelines for developing an aircraft. ARP is an acronym of aerospace recommended practice provided by SAE International, an American nonprofit organization on mobility. You can see from the examples of ARP on this slide that ARP provides guidelines for development and verification in various aircraft-related areas. This picture describes civil functional safety standards for aircraft and the position of standards, regulations, national roles, activities, and methods. From this picture, you can understand that aircraft have various standards, regulations, roads, activities, and methods organized to ensure their safety. Regulations are controlled and approved by each country's airspace. For instance, U.S. airspace is administered by the FAA, European airspace by EASA, China airspace by CAAC, Brazilian airspace by ANAC, and Japanese airspace by JCAO. FAA approval is required to fly an aircraft in the U.S. airspace. However, even if FAA approval is obtained, CAC approval is also required to fly an aircraft in China airspace. The area circled by a bold line is the location of the ALP which corresponds to a standard. The area circled by another bold line is the location of the Code of Federal Regulations which corresponds to a regulation. The practices for implementing standards such as the ALP are described as activities and methods. Let's examine the connection between ALP 4761 and ALP 4754A. These two standards run in parallel but interactively. The system design information done on the 4754A is used by 4761 and the function, fault, and safety information done on the 4761 is used by 4754A. 4761 and 4754A provide the system development and safety assessment process. It analyzes the system design and provides requirements to ensure compliance with the proposed design during development. It further evaluates the actual implementation including any defects, requires conformance to specifications and certification rules, and demonstrates conformance. Let's see a few more details. 4754A defines the main processes related to development, while 4761 defines the details of the activities. It is easily understood that the large piece is 4754A and the small part is 4761. 4754A refers to 4761 for details on the activities. For instance, for core tree analysis and dependency diagram, 4754A refers to 4761 Appendix T and E. Another essential guideline is ARP 4754A. 4754A also targets civil airborne systems and equipment as same as 4761. 4754A provides guidelines for the development process of airborne system. It is commonly referred to as 4754A, but the A at the end refers to the revision, not the name of the standard itself. 4754A addresses Functional safety and design assurance processes. It is dedicated to determining the development assurance level called DAL, which determines the legal or complex hardware and software development and verification activities. And 
4754A is designed to be used in conjunction with 4761. Furthermore, 4754A is supported by DO-178C, guidelines for the development of avionics software, and DO-254, guidelines for the development of avionics equipment with PLDs, including FPGS, ASICs, and CPLDs to standards. Let's see ALP-4761. 4761 is a set of guidelines and methods for civil urban systems and equipment. Please note that the word civil is being used for this purpose. The LP does not support defense and military airborne systems and equipment. Other standards such as MU standard and United States defense standards support them. This is because defense and military airborne systems and equipment are installed and operated with priority given to functionality and performance over the safety. 4761 will be used with 4754A to certify the, the civil airborne systems and equipment to be developed conform with regional regulations such as 14 CFR 25 1309 and CS 232529. 14 CFR 25 1309 is the regression of FAA in US DOT and CS 232529 is the regression of EASA in the EU commissions. To simplify things, 4761 and 4754A must be followed countries' regional regulations. This will be explained in a little more than details in later slides. This picture abstractly illustrates the exchanges of information between the standards in Green ALP. As you can see, various standards are working together to achieve a single goal of develop safe and high reliability aircraft. Radio Technical Commission called RTCA and European Organization for Civil Aviation Equipment called EUROCAE published the DO standards in this picture for aeronautics. Both are non-profit organizations in USA and the European Union. You may see EDXX is expressed after certain standards for example, this means that LP or DO standards release as EDXX from EuroCAE.